Alright, welcome to Eve Singularity again. This is the third part of a uh, video, uh, video series showing that it is possible for a noob to be useful on the battlefield um, using a griffin. And it's not completely useless and will not be wasting their time. Um, it's a valuable, valuable, exp valuable experience and an asset. So don't forget it. So we've got Minor Freak here, who I ripped the heart out of. <laughs> so we, she has lost 118 days worth of training. Uh, that was 30 skill extractions. And I ripped out signal dispersion, high speed maneuvering, acceleration control, uh, missile projection, missile bombardment, uh, to level four. I got them to level four. Uh, basically all the critical level five skills. Um, also got rid of long range target four, uh, four and electronic warfare four. And that really hurt me when I took it down to level two because <laughs> my tech one uh, signal distortion amplifier, which increased the strength of your jams, turned off <laughs> so yeah so this is what it looks like when you're you suck <laughs> don't worry it won't last you won't suck uh, not for long now then um, the first thing you do when you undock when you finish uh, get a fit ship uh, 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 multi fit your ship scene see uh, the first video Anyways, they're all useful. It's probably all a blur. You undock, and the first thing you want to do is load the uh, weapon type that there's a weakness to. Like there's a thrash, a there's a min matter ship, a slasher that's being used as uh, point as tackle. If it changes, we change the ammo type. Uh, you won't be able to kill it yourself, but in a group. You totally will. Uh, when you gank your um, missile bombardment and missile projection, uh, you lose quite a bit of um, range uh, for your missiles. Uh, and you're, yeah, it kind of sucks. Um, but what you do is you'll put these in high slots, put targeting range, and put that there, and these five. There you go. I keep two for cloak. You can do whatever you want, but put it in the high slot so you could actually use the hotkeys to do it. It's easier. Um, so your strength is 6.3, and I'll show you how effective it is, it is against um, a, a battle cruiser and two battle cruiser types, a Drekovac, um, commonly used by high sec war deckers, and a very unique fit they pulled out their butts uh, to deal with our griffins uh, which is a drake navy issue which uh, they'd never fielded before in numbers so yay us for being the first to go hey we want to use ecm ships competently and they were like oh my god somebody's actually using ecm ecm ships semi-competently i died we died like flies uh when they fielded their drake navy issues it was it was pretty funny ouch uh made a, a critical error in the beginning that screwed me and i didn't know but uh yeah there's that but it they they were forced to counter us and probably the first time in their history that they had to actually do and literally had to actually do that so that's pretty cool feather in our cap for doing that um all right so um you undock, you get this sorted, and you warp to a ping off the friendly station. I'm just going to uh, replicate that here uh, by cheating, basically. I, I got uh, a buddy to remove me from the... Uh, the tether was annoying when I was dealing with it, testing earlier, so I just got him to remove it. But otherwise, you're, the thing you're defending is usually you'll be able to warp through it off the overview. So you'll land and yay there's the enemy um 
they won't be so <laughs> they won't be green <laughs> um, and you'll set the default to um, 100 one, two, three. 100 kilometers and then you click that again it doesn't automatically do it when you're orbiting so you click it and then you turn on your mic warp drive and it's easier if you track that target now when you first encounter this kind of thing it's your first time your first rodeo but it's not the enemies and they will be waiting um, the tactic we were used to was um, who's the eight cap the Punisher will head straight he said what <laughs> fix the overview of the uh, Punisher lol had frigate to overview there you go so almost immediately when you land you will get somebody coming at you really quickly And as you can see, sorry, as you can see, that person is going to approach you very quickly. It's going not too fast, like it's going half the speed of uh, the, the tackle they have on the field. But you're going really quick, so he won't be able to catch you unless you stop. Now, my cap stability... Is only 40 seconds if I have everything on, but I don't. Um, I will have uh, three minutes. So in three minutes, my cap will be gone. But um, the kit we handed out includes the improved mind bullet. And if you're under level four electronic warfare, oh shit! It was it was the. Uh, it wasn't the um, quaif. It was the the overclocker that that was running out sooner. I thought it was the quaif. So yeah, um, if you if you take the wrong drug by accident or anything like that, um, the way to be able to take a slot one drug or any type that's the same slot, you just go uh, switch your junk clone somewhere and just switch it back. Like go to an upwell and switch it back and forth and it'll get rid of the drug so yeah so yeah uh, unless you're standing still the Punisher won't be able to get you but the slasher will because the slasher's got the speed so and they know how to angle to get you to they'll and there's they won't be multi-boxing with that and they'll be able to double click and, and get close to you this way and so as soon as that happens, um, what you want to have happen is you've got a certain overview that you want open. I believe it's transversal. That's angular. Whoops, sorry. Transversal? Uh, where is the slasher? Transversal. Uh, no, that's not it. I need radial. That's it. Okay, so what you're looking for is a high number. You'll actually have it up here. You want it top. And how do I tell? Is that gonna even gonna work? Why is what is where the frick the slasher is? Okay, minus why? Why why aren't you cooperating, you stupid thing? This is really weird. I don't know. I don't understand. Why are you acting so weird? What? Why is the slasher jumping all over the place? What? What is going on? Is there something wrong with my... Oh. What the hell is wrong with you? The hell? It's got to be a bug on Singularity. That is the weirdest, dumbest thing I've ever seen. Alright, give me a sec. I'll, uh... I'll work back and that is just dumb. Give me a sec. Drive active. Yeah, sometimes I'll like, you know, burp and it'll be like, ooh, I, I just want to have fun. Shut up. Alright, um. Yay. Oh right, I've got 
gotta do I no I don't damn it freaking hell yeah it's a bit annoying sorry to zero try this game active So what you want to do, as soon as the you get that, hopefully a proper reading, because that was really annoying. Um, move it this way, radio. Okay. This better be helpful. I'm gonna get really ticked off with uh, CCP screwing it up. All right. So you're going that away. And I am going to be zooming that away, double click in that direction. And uh, before ease, I'm just gonna, so as soon as you see this, you go, oh shit. And you go, uh, quick, get that, and you turn this off, and you go, help, help, oh, go away, oh, meow, meow, meow. And you get the hell out of there. Drive because active. he will point you once he gets within 24. And I am away hmm, that was awkward wasn't it he could have pointed me there but I had a sensor damp on him and I failed to get the sensor uh, targeting sorry the, the targeting range on uh, that now I've got a 29 kilometer targeting range right and he's got a 24 kilometer uh, point right and if I use that sensor dampener on him to get away that'll give me that few critical seconds for my warp to kick in right so let's uh, let's go back to uh, let's go back to that at 100 now when you do let's let's stop here when you thank you stupid singularity okay so when you're on the field with me and I show up because typically you'll be warping and, and dying and having fun and just basically trying to, to learn how to press the buttons. Um, you'll be on field. I'll land uh, on Seneche, uh, who is um, orbiting at 200, cloaked. And my team uh, will, as soon as possible of course, um, undock and as a squad, um, we'll warp to, give me a sec, sorry, I gotta get things proper. Uh, I'll warp, warp my either Blackbird or, um, or my Celestis um, squad to this location. And then ideally I'll get to an orbit of 135 afterwards, but at the start I'll be at 200 kilometers just, just to make sure I don't die like like I did before <laughs> so I land I see that I land I, I'll turn on my afterburner I'll turn on this I'll turn on that and then I'll decloak and I'll hit regroup now hopefully you're not in the same squad as I am or wing as I am because you'll start regrouping on me um, so you I'll, I'll let people know I just hit regroup so you have to watch what you're doing so I don't inadvertently cause your death um, because you'll try to orbit me when I do that command. Um, and when you have to, like you saw, you have to warp off because of the slasher, warp to me. To, oh, sorry, to Seneche. <laughs> and now I'll come in. Uh, well, sorry, the brain is not working today. Um, so we're orbiting really quick. Um, I'll t did I take my drug? Yes, I did. Okay, good. So, and you'll land about, oh, who knows, between 25 and 50 kilometers from me. And you'll anchor up. You'll just go approach. It'll be the quickest thing for you to do. Instead of doing anything fancy like trying to select me and then go keep at range, just approach. All right? You'll be fine. Um, and, of course, remember to turn on your... <laughs> mic warp drive uh, once you're approaching me under mic warp drive then you can click on me and go um, orbit oh, no uh, you'll go keep at sorry because you'll 
actually, you know what? Just uh, just right click me and it'll orbit me at 10 kilometers because you'll be going really quick, quicker than I can. So you'll whip around and I'll be trying to match my speed to as close to as 2000 as possible. I don't want to go quicker than that because my squatties can't really keep up all too much, I think. Anyways, I'll be going around uh, 21, between 2000 and 21, um, uh, 2100 uh, meters per second, okay? So, you'll whip around me, well, as soon as you catch up, <laughs> and you will be in range. Um, once you're in range at uh, closer than 30, 37 kilometers, you'll be able to be supported by our firepower. Um, We've got um, a Triglavian light weapon uh, that'll munch slashers, and we'll have either Celestis, Celestis or um, Blackbirds uh, with light missiles the same as yours, and we'll be able to put the pain down on them whenever they come loose. So as long as you're orbiting, you'll be fine. But of course, you'll be... You know, um, ideally, once I'm happy that we're in place and ready, I'll then change my default orbit and go as closer as closer. I'll, um, you know, I'll go there and I'll go there and I'll, I'll eventually um, I'll be 135 away from them. Uh, that is the plan, at least, because that that range is the maximum range of the targeting and optimal jam range of the Blackbird. The Celestis is happy out at 190, but I'd rather get closer. As the closer I get, the stronger my sensor um, damp becomes. Uh, but I'm happy at 190. I could stay at 190 all day and I'd still do a lot of uh, sensor damage to each of them. And if they were, I have enough to damp 12 DNIs, so that'll annoy the hell out of them because they're used to 80 kilometer range missiles where I'd give them 40 kilometers, 50, between 40 and 50 kilometer range missiles. And that would not impress them. And anything that can get close to us dies. I've tested it. That, that I know of. I'm, I'm sure they could counter once they see it. And I'd be interested in, okay, what, what you got? <laughs> You know, I mean, for science, I'll lose my ships if they can surprise me with something. But we're going 2,000. There's not much that's going to surprise us. So, yeah, uh, they could try eagles, um, but unless they're willing to shoot from 125, 250 kilometers away uh, and hit us, then it there's you know we're we're going so fast we can we, we've got the range to sensor uh, sensor damp them if they get too close right so yeah, it's possible to do massed eagles but then the object of the game or our game is to get that up well uh, repaired so if they're spending time countering us that's time on field that the upwell's repping, so op success. All right, so. How am I doing? We're doing great. So I've got this, this is working great. Um, I am looking for, wait a minute, what the hell? Why, that's better. Why is that doing that? Whoa, what? How are you calculating that? So, maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should just keep at. So, we're just going to keep at. Yeah, we're going to keep at 1,000. Okay. It's probably going to be safest. So, whoop. So, we're going to click on the Arezu. Yeah, we'll just right click, uh, keep at range. Uh, 1,000. 
and that'll that'll deal with that crazy numbers there. It's not very helpful, is it? Yeah, I, I think the safest thing <laughs> would be go distance and then monitor anything that's uh, you know ballooning um, like the slasher uh, we'll try that again uh, where are you oh, yeah. that's not gonna work so give me a sec I'll, uh, I'll warp off to the Stargate and back warp drive active So what I'd like to do is land and pretend the the slasher's on its own, and I'll just sensor damp with this, uh, with uh, Griffin. So, blah, 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 blah. warp to zero. As soon as I land, I'll go for the Griffin, and then I'll sensor damp. Uh, the slasher with the Griffin, and see what, and I'll just watch my targeting range drop, and see if it if it's enough that I don't have to worry too much about long point, right? And they would have to get in within scram range. Actually, that'll give me that that'll give the new you uh, more time to get away. So obviously, they do this way quicker than what I'm doing right now. And where are you? Yeah, you probably double click this way to get closer, but regardless, let's uh, uh where is that ballooning thing? Yeah, there it is, see? The radio. And what you want is hit that and then I'll watch. Alright, so which my whoop? Uh uh seventeen nine thirty one seventeen. So i I'd need to get one in seventeen, so They've lost seven kilometers, basically. Cool. Um, however, if they were trying to go against me and... You'd be helping out, but my... Uh, at 135, I don't have targeting range to... Uh, actually, I do. Um, how much of my targeting range? It is. Oh, hello. Nice. Maybe that's what I was deciding to orbit at 190. Anyway, sorry. Um, if I saw the the slasher coming, I'll what I'll most likely do is enable that um, the radio um, on this so I can monitor it too and see something approaching. Which duh, obviously it's going to be the sl slasher trying. So, I'll get the slasher back to direct back. So let's go orbit those. At, nope, let's uh, go approach. All right, so. All right, so I'll try that again. Um, on my game today. Give me a sec. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> oh, lol, sorry. I just can't stop laughing. That was pretty funny. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> going on <laughs> something weird is happening all right so here I am camped and <laughs> just give me a sec I'm gonna... 
Now I'm at my optimal, what I, the, the range I'd like to be at. Let the griffin get close. Now I wouldn't do this in combat. <laughs> if you go wandering off towards the enemy, that's your, that's your belly whack. That's your lookout. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the problem with trying to test on singularity. These weird oddities you get where you're trying to mimic the baddies, it just it does you more harm than good. Especially when you come back from singularity and you start autopiloting through low sec because nobody's home. <laughs> Uh, let's go for the griffin. Obviously, I'd be going for the drop because playing right, but, you know, you won't know that. You're a noob. All right. So here it comes. Where it is? There it is. All right. Um, 24, 22, 21, targeting range soon, soon there. So plunk it with that, and my guys will hit it to, well, already hitting it. So, and my targeting will go down to... 8.3 yeah so basically scram range and the closer i get yeah of course they get too close i just go man man and you're yeah and then i kill you blap um and you're dead within seconds uh, sorry that slasher's dead within seconds um can't get close enough target can't get close enough to long uh, point basically and dead basically you're it's dog meat i mean i could kill it with just this um well it's too far away now but yeah we've got drones we've got missiles we've got lasers we've got yeah everything um so yeah it would be dead 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 um yeah um so that's that's the object and once you, that's that's dealt with then you can um orbit at 100 the the lead the the anchor and you go back to your 100 kilometers um peel off from us and uh yeah see peel off and yeah if you get in trouble just warp off you know um it'll be dead of course and they'll get a new one of course they'll they're so cheap they'll come on grid and they'll try to get you again you'll you, you'll have your everybody will decide okay there's 12 of them who are we going to jam and you're going to go okay i'm going to pick that 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 and you'll just divvy up beforehand because you know there's enough time to go okay this many blah 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 we'll divvy it up go by alphabetical um and the uh, the, the fleet commander should be going, okay, you're going to get A, B, and C, and somebody else will get D, and blah, 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 you know, and switch to, this would be, this is Galente, and switch to another type. But, yeah, f typically you'll be facing Triggs for days, so no worries. Um, and your targeting range sucks because your skills suck. So 97.78. Um... three minutes but as soon as oh, you got 25 minutes there's no way but yeah i mean you should technically be cap stable because you're at zero you know minus and this will improve you to cap stability might even get you so you could use this constantly but like i said it's just it's just used for def defense for you uh the higher levels would be able to use it offensively you're just using it defensively it's it's damn handy as you saw um so yeah i'll show you what happens again i'll warp back and forth again warp drive active. yeah i kind of regret actually getting that uh, tethering off it's a hell annoying when you're trying to target something so it was worth it but yeah slightly annoying all right so they'll be nearby the tracks. Warp drive active. You know the targeting range now. And you'll be happily jamming. And you'll see, uh-oh, that slasher pilot's coming back. 
Uh oh, here he is. He's gonna pick me again because he hates me. And uh I pick you. Off I go. And here I go again. And okay, you see that ballooning and oh shit, he's definitely coming for me, so I'm like, uh target and target you and Quick warp off to you, sun. Get away from here and blap. And warp drive active. There we go. And he's 40, 35. Can I get you? Can I get you? No. Gone. So. And then you just warp back to um, the Raz team. And this guy goes, oh, damn it. And uh, he goes back to his, his buddies. Nope, not there. All right. And you work to me. Nope. And this is how close you will get. Uh, sometimes it'll be different depending on if you land ahead of me or behind me, right? The last time you landed ahead of me. And you'll just, as soon as you land, um, I want you to, as soon as you see it coming out of warp, I want you to hit the afterburner, the micro warp drive, and then right click and approach me. Okay, that's it. And then you can happily start jamming away again. And as you finish your target, as your target locking, you can go, oh, okay, you know, here, here. Oh, okay, well, maybe you have to wait till you're enough. <laughs> right, you gotta anchor up on me. Um, It'll take some time, but you should get close enough that you should be under our protection uh, fairly soon, like so. And then uh, keep at range a thousand. And yeah, you're close enough for protection now. Um, yeah, and then you can okay where are my targets where am i going to go is it safe is is the slasher on the other side and have we dealt with the slasher is it standing there pouting and stuff like that and you just relax and get comfortable um at this point my four i'll have four blackbirds on the field um if i feel lucky and these are triglavian and not the dnis um Interesting. Um, I'll be I'll be jamming them as well. So anything you do will be uh, icing on the cake and helps immensely. Multiple people are just much weight. We're just putting pressure. Like I said in the first video, putting pressure. That's all we do. So yeah, once you're comfortable, you'll find the FC and you'll orbit 100 and you'll get within range and you'll peel off from us and you'll start it all over again and like ah now I got ya <laughs> charge coming to get you coming to get you um yeah and, and if you're like that I can go where the hell is that slasher there he is why oh I don't have radio right sorry <laughs> so I can still screw up his life big time um, trying to get you because if I put three on him he's down to seven clicks to get you and yeah it's not going to be easy for him because he is going um, 5,000 and you are going uh, half that speed so it's not like he's blindingly fast onto you um, as long as you remember to hit the micro warp, approach me, and you'll be quickly, you know, you'll be within a safety envelope fairly soon. And he's having to travel at you at uh, 2,500 instead of 5,000 if, say, if you weren't moving, right? So it's always, always helpful. And yeah, and you could put target. Sorry, it's just too many greens. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where's the freaking slasher? And he's just, <laughs> it's confusing. I'm just looking for red flashies. And it's just, Bleh. so yeah, I mean, you adding yours on will put him down to, um, 
oh, I'm far enough away. So yeah, 19. Yeah, you're outside of my envelope of protection, unfortunately. Oh, why are you? What happened there? How did that happen? Maybe, I have no idea why. Maybe you're just getting closer to me? I don't think I can hit him, but... Pew, pew. Come on, bitch, get close. No, you're no longer within reach. <laughs> you're whipping that way. <laughs> but yeah. 19 and then point. I don't have a scram, but not really going to matter. die soon enough. Um, might be able to put some pain on him as he gets closer, but he's traveling pretty quick. Um, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to kill you. Well, he can't actually. He's just pointing you. So he's not going to be able to hurt you, um, but other things can once you're slowed down, right? So I'll try to orbit. Nope. No. That's not going to try to orbit like that. I'll, and the nice, if, if the the nice thing about missile is like, oh, damn it. Orbit closer. Yeah, this is going to really. Oh, but wait a minute. Why am I? I... Okay, I'm just confused now. Sorry. Just ignore me. Um, firing, firing, firing. It's taking a while to take you out with these. So he's definitely got a, a hole, a thermal hole. But yeah, it's it's not it's not that easy to kill him. Now, mind you, if you had precision, you might be able to do a bit more damage, uh, twice the damage at this sort of close range. Um, so it might be useful to have precision aboard. You could kill him. Uh, he's not going to be able to kill you. Uh, he will be slowing you down, um, and that's when the Punisher comes up and gets you. Um, Let's try to... Webbing you? Okay, so speed is going down to... Yeah, you're... It's going slow enough that the Punisher is going to be able to catch up to you. All right. So, yeah. You wouldn't be able... To, and you wouldn't be able to kill him quick, but the Punisher will be able to catch up. So, yeah. Anyways... Uh, hopefully you found that enjoyable and informative. Um, yeah, warp off, warp back to Seneche, uh, get within the protective envelope, get comfortable, approach your target again, orbit, slasher goes for you. You know, do the same thing. It's keep the slasher busy. Um, it occupies them for sure, and eventually they'll get stupid and we'll kill it, you know? Um, the first time that happened, they had DNIs. The first time they wiped the floor with us, um, they had DNIs and I warped to 100 uh, because, you know, I was happy with 100. We were talking about it. That was the plan. Orbit at 100 really quick and their trig weapons wouldn't be able to deal with us and it's all good. But they had 80 kilometer range. They had micro warp drives. They saw me coming on D scan. They were ready for me. Uh, the slasher got to me almost immediately because I totally screwed up the regroup command. So it was like circle jerking. It's like, oh my god. Um, <laughs> I really uh, only after after rewatching it twice did I realize, oh my god, how badly I screwed that up and how thoroughly I was fucked from the get-go, even before I landed on grid. <laughs> Just like, oh god, cringe. Um, but yeah, um, they wiped the floor with us because they could get close and they could get uh, get us pointed and confused and bam, we were dead instantly because we're paper-thin tank. But warping at 200 um, and then coming in uh, or even staying out there if they were DNIs and just censored damning the hell out of them. Um, it uh, it'll do wonders for your survival too, because you won't be able to be pot shotted by them so quickly, um, and the, 
and the slashers, if they get stupid, will get too close to us and they'll die. Um, so you'll do your part, keeping them busy and jamming things. I'll censor damp them. If they feel it's, you know, it's like there's no way if, you know, if they feel like, like I said, they're, they're, they're typically either trigs for days or praxis ball, you know, they'll show up with 20 praxises and you're like, game over. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's no, there's no ability to escalate with them. All we can do is play smart uh, because they're not, they're just cookie cutter. They're like, what's the matter for dish? Okay, we'll do that. And there's no, there's, there's, it's who can get the bigger blob for them, basically. Um, they're happy to sit at zero and just plink away at structures all day. Um, there's no issues at all. They're not looking for excitement. They're looking for low risk. And they'll they'll use whatever's low risk for them and get them the that gets them the biggest reward. Um, and yeah, the D and I's was a surprise. Never thought they'd feel that, so caught us off guard, and we paid for it. But yeah, I mean, it's you go up against something like this, and you surprise them and your Athenor repairs hooray um unfortunately at the same time uh, all you're doing is getting free pvp training because they will be embarrassed enough to want to uh rub your nose in defeat that's that's you know they're just bullies they're just they're just reefers duh um they're high sec war daggers duh uh, they like easy targets. Um, and they're not used to people feeling decent fits. Like, literally, they haven't until now. Literally. Um, or else they'd be way more D&I kills, right? And we'd see way more Griffin kills and the Blackbird kills. But you don't. You can go back 50 pages in Ezekiel. You can't find any um, any real decent... Um, battles where there were griffins and blackbirds on the field so yeah they're just not used to it um and playing smart like that is is fun for us because you get experience doing it because it'll it'll translate later you might lose one or all of your upwells to this bs because we're like yeah content and they're like you you bring tank will bring more dps blah 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 but it's just a big pissing contest to them and they don't really learn anything from it they don't go oh this would be fun if we actually went on uh went against people who were actually willing to go up, up against us they're like why aren't we in null sec or why aren't we in low sec um having good battles because they're they're, they're freaking jerks so yeah if they pretend to be and low sec people are and null sec people are douches too it's uh yeah, it's basically, if you want good content, go to Null. You know, why are you in high, you know? So, yeah, you got, you got to roll the, your eyes. But, yeah, you you blacken their eye with a defeat by having your up wall repair. They're going to be embarrassed enough to want to really crush you under their boot. Uh, and they will. They will totally, they'll hire Black Flag with a riot, so they couldn't really get away with doing that. But if they'll get a bigger fish to crush you basically or they'll get somebody else to that they'll tell somebody else that oh it's great content you should board that them too and it's basically um hyena tactics against you so you're inviting trouble but at the same time you're having fun learning things and you're able to irritate people who normally aren't used to risk, you know, there's a chance that you'll embarrass them. And that's all you can do, unfortunately, in this game. You're, you're not a PvP corp, you're a caber corp. You don't want to be war deck. You don't want to go to war. You want to mine or industry or explore or stuff like that. And some bullies are taking advantage of the game mechanics to grind your face in. All right.
So you're having fun learning against them. But don't for a second think that you are going to win unless they get bored or tired of you and walk away. Um, or get what they want by, you know, blowing up your, your stuff, right? So you can will it. Um, this tactic can absolutely work against small fry like Newt DD and the others but against Riot yeah pissing in the wind uh, trying to stop them right um, but yeah I mean you learn under adversity right I mean I wouldn't uh, if it was Newt DD I would have landed had time to practice yes but I might not have realized that there's a hard counter to Griffins with the with long range missiles and getting people on top of them and I was coming in too close and with DD I would have not known that and gotten uh, victories off of preventing them but we we actually went up and blew Nuke DD's HQ up <laughs> um, when they were Dector's last um, that was fun <laughs> um, but yeah I mean somebody against riot there's there's no way you you'll learn and you'll get to practice good good skills that will help you in the future against smaller fry but yeah these people are just going to walk right the hell over you and so there's there's no hope of victory unless something else distracts them or they're like meh um we don't want to keep going over here and bashing on the structures because here's here's the thing if you give like what they're used to is people hiding and hoping it goes away and then going back to the routine instead of going oh they're we're on riot or black flags rolodex we're going to get war decked eventually in six months or four months or whatever when it comes to a time for a rolodex and they don't think we got a plan for the future we might want to switch our training from mining drone five to say oh i don't ecm skills or um you know keep cap stable and stuff you know the skills that are right here the critical skills right here these are the critical skills yeah Cap stability, being able to keep up speed, keep your jams up, and the button mashing skills to go, oh, here comes that slasher. Better turn off that, start warping to somewhere, sensor damp the hell out of them, get the hell out of dodge, come back onto that, the anchor. Um, yeah, and as long as the anchor can get set up, I've discovered that there is nothing that can approach as fast enough that won't die quick enough to that, that double negative I screwed up there <laughs> but yeah there's nothing that can approach us that can survive and that the stuff that can't approach us uh, we can censor down um, and the counter to uh, DNIs were Celestis the counter to Drex were Blackbirds um, yeah the the chances of see they use dni's because it was they use a lot of osprey navy issue but the osprey navy issue has light drones and they wanted medium drones to put it all in a cloud around the upwell even if we jammed them we couldn't jam the drones and that was their tactic we'll go with missiles because we can get 80 kilometer range we've got uh, MWDs, we've got shield tanking, Drake's a great shield tanking thing, and we got drones. So we got missiles and drones, and if we get jammed, we still got the drones, and so the upwell's going to die regardless. And that was their thinking. That was it. Something we have, we'll transliterate it, get the drones on the upwell structure, and then we'll have fun chasing down all the griffins with 13 freaking DNIs. That was their counter to five or six scattered um desultory griffins 13 2 billion worth of dni yeah it was like wow uh, yeah everything to them everything is a nail so they just bring a big bigger hammer so it's not going to be a fencing match they're going to bring a bigger bigger hammer hammer so if my strategy if they show up with dni's and i show up with celestis um it's not going to stop them unless we can get enough uh, griffins to jam them 
but still it won't be enough because the hammerheads and our structure will be lost or reinforced again. So to them it's a win. We can't do anything unless we can uh, field DPS and deal significant damage, which we probably couldn't. There's 13 freaking Drake Navy issues, right? So, yeah, I think I've belabored the point enough, but I covered enough of the points and their point of view and my our point of view, you know. Adapt. Learn how to counter it. If they have a counter, learn how to counter that. And keep going that way because you can f get smarter doing what you're doing and get better tactics and better fits and a complement of better counter to the counter this but at a point there's a point where there's nothing beyond the celestis if they counter the celestis with something we don't know about that'll be interesting but i think their counters to us countering it if we can actually be successful against the drakes with celestis um and have the griffins jam them and maybe the hammerheads no the hammerheads are def that many hammerheads are definitely going to be uh, RFing the structure at some point, but it will be a long, drawn up, boring. They'll get ticked off and bored. They'll get me embarrassed. Their drones are doing the work, but it'll take forever and they'll get effing bored. It won't take 15 minutes and they'll be like, screw this um, after a while, right? And we've got a lot of structures, so they could get really bored. But if they don't have a counter to it and they get really ticked off, they'll just show up. They won't, they'll, they'll stop the cute little games. They'll just show up in 20 practices like we thought they would and blow the hell out of our, our stuff. Basically, that's, that's the thing. But to do that, it would be admitting defeat because we're we barely feel like six people, like six players uh, at once for a defense, you know? So for them to throw 20 practices as, against us would be, we'd be honored. They'd be just ticked off with us, but we'd be honored that they had to go to such great lengths to grind her face into the dirt, you know, so, or, or into the sandbox, right? Yeah, yeah. Schoolyard sandbox, yeah, yeah, good for you, buddy. But uh, yeah, we can do this all day. Anyways.